Hey, morning. Today is President's Day, so the market is not open. Uh, so, you know, I was, I woke up this morning, 5 a.m., I'm, I'm reading my news, I'm reading the articles, and I came across an older article, almost, exactly almost a year ago, February 22nd, 2020, you can see right here, uh, Warren Buffett uh, says, says shares is 100% prepared for his death which is um very upsetting and sad at the same it's, it's because you know obviously he's understanding um there is a time now that that you know he's getting older and and he needs to uh plan things out even at his age he, he's planning it out so efficiently um so let's go through this a little bit and see what's going on here They are known require companies to account for short term swings of their equity investments in their quarterly annual earnings. And of course, Berkshire Hathaway has a lot of equity investments. It reported $53.7 billion in unrealized gains on its equity investments in 2019. He says, Andy, that this is not yeah. so important. I mean, I would argue the most important number is the cash number. Right. So. I'm going to be very bullish, I believe, even on the day or the day, like the days after, um, and I and I hope it doesn't happen, uh, if he's no longer here to run Berkshire, um, I think he's already put it into a position where has the future in his mind that it's going to be successful regardless uh, because of the way he has laid it out. This article is going to be in the link in the description below. Uh, you know, they are sitting on tons of tons of cash, and I believe it was over a hundred billion at this point. Uh, obviously, this was a year ago, so he's constantly compounded that that return, um, and and on great many great investments uh, with high returns, uh, minus a few that that he missed out. Um, not missed out, but you know, kind of uh, sidetracked him and and didn't perform as well as he expected um, and I think for instance those would be the airlines um, I'm not sure if I think Heinz Kraft uh, he's also has mentioned that it was a mistake of his so between him and Charlie um, Berkshire Hathaway has been really successful so I think a, a lot of the new generation uh, you know e even friends and individuals that I know they're they're not into that mindset um, that long term investment in you know the Roth IRA IRA 401k I mean 401ks yes because they they feel like it's free money that when the employer matches a percentage uh, but they don't follow the minds of of Warren Buffett which I find it's unfortunate because he has such great value um, it's simplistic I I don't need to follow you know candlesticks um, and I and I I don't mean you know, I, as I put money into the market, I understand what, you know, shorting a position is. I don't know anything about option trading and, um, and, and all these other terms that people throw out there. And, and, but these younger generation, and when I say younger generation, they're probably like, you know, five to 10 years younger than me. Um, they're in their thirties cause I, you know, I look, I am older than I look, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, and you know they're in for the quick buck you know with the the cryptocurrencies and and there's a lot of things you know if, if I would probably have changed my mind about certain things I mean I dab into that as well I, I don't want to get people the wrong give people the wrong idea that oh I only follow what Warren Buffett does and buys um, that's not true because I, I do have um, Tesla I do have some cryptocurrency um, but it's not heavily on there and it's not like I need to make X amount of dollars within the short period of time. So, uh, you know, that's the, that's the difference mindset. It's, you know, Warren's been planning it out for, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, 
but these you know like newer generation they they need it now they want it now right it's like picking up your phone and, I, and you're you're seeing everything to the minute to the second um and but you know i i grew up in a time of rotary phones and and if you call someone they didn't pick up there was no other way of tracing them there's no find my iphone uh you know post it on social media like where the hell are you no such thing so uh, different mentality I mean I grew up you know my parents being um, the the I guess the boomer generation the, I, the, there's still some qualities that trickle down and uh, I can't you know certain things I, I probably are not as used to even though I, I you know my prime was in the internet boom era and you know I, I I remember Amazon coming out for the very first time and I, I believe it was waiting for to get uh, the PlayStation 2, uh, you know, check on the website every single day. And this was back in the 90s. Uh, so so there were some, a lot of limitations in regard to technology. And I can understand where Warren comes from it because he, he comes even from a, a earlier time than myself where there, there was no cell phones. At least, you know, as I was growing up, you know, cell phones, Motorola, the brick ones, came out in the 80s and I kind of grew up you know uh, around that and, and knew what that is as I was getting older and you know I got my first computer when I was like four or five years old but uh, you know unfortunately it was only a, a 386 so uh, way way back so long story short is whatever Warren has done up to this point um, he's not just saying, oh, okay, if I go, I go, you know, tough luck. Um, the great thing about him is that he already has planned out what Berkshire and the shareholders should expect if he's not here because that that's one of the, the top questions I am sure many has asked because he's getting older. Um, unfortunately, not even if you were to live to 100 you're you're not going to be active so you're, you're not going to be like running the business as you were you know 20 30 years ago right so <clears throat> i think this was a great article um i'll definitely link it in the description <clears throat> and take a read i mean it, it's been a, it's a year old but uh, obviously nothing has changed uh nothing was mentioned that it was changed uh, him cashing out his Burke A's to his Burke B's to spread it out, you know, I, I think in the article itself, it, it said that it was going to donate um, X amount of dollars or, or his positions um, through the course of time. So it's not going to be a lump sum cash out and, and throw it out somewhere. Uh, it's going to be gradual. Uh, I think I estimate that it will take 10, 12 to 15 years for the entire entirety of Berkshire shares I hold at my death to move into the market okay so um, that's a long term I mean m my goal is 15 years so you know being bullish on Burke A regardless of what the economic situation is I think you know Burke sure Hathaway and, and Warren Buffett's style uh, you know it's there's diversification um, this stability he's outperformed the S&P uh, on many occasions and I think I would I would still continue I would still continue uh, you know if he if he was no longer here I would not sell out my my position with Berkshire Hathaway never I, I think I would just, it, it will be a long term till the day I say Berkshire Hathaway would be a great investment um, for that long term just like how he he has mentioned that any ETFs you know um, riding with the S&P 500 would be a great return you know very hands-off return but and I and me personally I think um, Berkshire Hathaway stocks are definitely a hands-off approach uh, and I, I shouldn't say guarantee but I feel very confident and um, hope you enjoy this video. Thank you guys for joining me again. See you guys again soon. Bye.